Good morning to all of you. This is the 7th of July, Thursday. In fact, the weekend is just around the corner. What a wonderful privilege I have to address you in English this morning. As many of you know, English is not my first language, but I'm doing it for somebody. There's somebody out there. The Lord said, I must just bring it to you as simple as I can, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to pray for you as well. So I'm going to pray for you this morning that the Lord will bless you and that He will guide you through this Word of God. Yes, the Bible is a lot, a, a book full of treasures, and there's a lot of treasures waiting for you. You just have to go and seek them. All right, let's start with the first one. There's a person by the name of Job in the Bible. Yes, you're going to meet him one day, and then he will tell you his story, because most of us, we're going through dark days. We're going through tough times, and yes, Job was the ultimate. If you want to go and see and find somebody who went through tough times, go and read the book of Job. Because he was so blessed. He had everything. Everything was going for him. He was the richest man in the whole of the East. So you can just imagine how blessed he was. And remember, he got his blessings from God. And then all of a sudden things changed. And the Lord allowed things in his life. And I want to put the emphasis on that. The Lord allow things in his life. So what am I saying to you, my friend? I'm saying to you that God works in mysterious ways. Sometimes we think that, you know, there's a curse on us. No, there cannot be because Jesus was the blessing for us. There cannot be a curse on you because God said, I will be with you all the way. Maybe through all the lockdowns and all the low chillings and sometimes we think there's a curse on us. No, there's a blessing on us. Because of Jesus and the work He's done on the cross, there's always a blessing on us. Now I want to speak about Job. Job changed my life because I was following Him. I went through a tough time in my life as well. And I said to the Lord, okay, what did Job do? So if you look at Job, all the bad things happened to him. And at the end of the day, he was sitting at a very bad place in his life. Can you imagine? There were all the rubbish the dumps uh, in town. He was sitting there with all those people. And eventually, a strange thing happened. You know, God said friends to him. And, 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 and the worst thing that can happen to you when you're going through tough times is when people sympathize, sympathize with you. I mean, sympathy is a good thing, but sometimes it can be bad. So the, 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 the two of his friends came to him and they've heard about this wonderful man of God. Eventually, he was so blessed and rich. He lost his wife and his kids and everything. And there he was sitting. So... While he was sitting there, the friends came to him and they thought they would go and just maybe they will just give him something so that he can feel better. But there was something hidden in Job and I'm sure it's hidden in you. Whilst the devil think that you're down and out, there's some last card you need to play and that's the one of Jesus Christ. So when Job was sitting there, his friends came to him to sympathize and then Job prayed for them. Yes, it's not the other way around. He prayed for them. He had nothing. He had nothing. Not even one cent. But he had still one thing left. He's got a prayer. He's got something. He's got faith. And then the Bible was saying a very interesting. I'm going to read it to you. I read it in the Amplified in Job 42 verses 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job and restored his fortune when he prayed for his friend. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had ever before. Isn't this amazing? Game, set, and match. So Job was in trouble and he prayed for his friends. Now what is this all about? It's not about us. It's not about me. It's all about him. What am I saying? When you down at your lowest, I was there. I remember I said to the Lord, Lord, if you can do it for Job, you can do it for me. And the Lord started blessing me. So in my darkest days in my life, I started praying for my friends. I started a ministry with five people. I started praying for people. I started the cell church. I had nothing, but at least I had one God, and that God was Jesus Christ. I want to give you that God. Maybe you're down and out and you feel like a failure. You feel like a loser. I want to, I want to encourage you. Pray for your friends. If God can do it for Job, He can do it for you. I want to pray for you today, and so that you can pray for your friends today. Are you ready for that? For Heavenly Father, I'm praying for somebody very special. I don't know, maybe this guy or this lady or this person is sitting at a very bad place. 
Lord, I pray that you will restore, that you will change, that you will bless. Lord, thank you that you did the finished job, that Jesus did the finished job at the cross so that we can be blessed. I bless these people in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. May you have a wonderful, blessed Thursday. And remember, your best is yet to come. Bye.